everyone, it's me Catherine and today I am here to talk 2021 20, goals. Uh, it has been a while since I last did a video. October, I think, was it. I was talking about my October plans and I never came back because, well, I ran out of energy. Like 2020 was, <laughs> it was quite the year for everybody for a varying number of reasons on top of it being you know, living through a pandemic. I don't recall if I made any goals. I haven't been back to check to see if I made any goals for 2020. Um, so I'm not gonna wrap it up. I'm not gonna wrap 2020 up. We're just gonna leave whatever goals I had for 2020 back in 2020. They don't matter now whether I completed them or not. So today we're focusing on my goals for 2021. And I don't have any lofty goals for this year, for anything. Um, I just kind of want to get my shit together for real, like <laughs> for real. My main goal is through uh, whatever way I need to do it, I need to get my shit together. I need to get my shit together. <laughs> she says, sitting here filming, it is like something stupid, like it's, but it's late at night. It's late at night, right? I should be getting ready for bed. Instead, I'm sat here in my pyjamas with so much dry shampoo in my hair. Like, I'm surprised I'm not completely grey right now. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> getting my shit together is definitely a work in progress. But I have, I have... You know, we're just gonna we're just gonna move past that. We're just gonna move past that. Okay. I felt I had enough energy to film, so I took that opportunity rather than putting it off for another day when I probably wouldn't have the energy. So, which is gonna bring me to my first main big goal, which is I would like to, by the end of 2021, have myself a schedule for YouTube. You know? have a set schedule I, ideally a video a week which is what i used to do way back when way back when because do you realize i've been doing this right making videos on youtube for on and off i'm not gonna say consistently on and off for six years over six years my six year anniversary was back in october and i feel like my entire youtube my time on youtube has basically just been me trying to find my thing you know the thing that you feel is you and to consistently put that out and i have tried and failed been trying and failing for six years <laughs> and i'm not going to say 2021 is going to be the year but it's definitely going to be the year that i try my hardest again so by the end of 2021 i don't expect to have this schedule up anytime soon so don't expect it now but i will gradually be working my way up to it um i think i'm going to start off with just like a video a month maybe and then increase february is going to be a bit different because i do still want to talk about my favorites from 2020 like my favorite things that i consumed and whatnot from 2020 um, and I'm gonna dedicate February for that. I haven't decided whether I'm gonna how I'm gonna split it, because the next goal that I have for this basically these are the goals for this channel is to. From the start, I've always wanted to branch out from just books. I didn't books was my way into it, and I always intended to branch out, but then never had the bottle to do it. Last year, I think, has was the most that I tried, the most, the most that I think I've managed to do it. And I want to take that and carry it into 20, 2021 and sort of do better. So I'm hoping that works because I don't have a bookish name for my YouTube channel. Um, so I, I shouldn't feel const as constrained as I do, but somehow I still do. Even though I have such a small like following, I don't have a load of people subscribed to me that I could lose. Um, so I don't know what my fear is. So this year is to overcome that and I will do it. I will successfully start doing it. And I'm especially motivated now because one of my biggest booktube inspirations was um, Sana from Inkbones Books, who is now rebranded as Sana Story. She did go away for a while. She just sort of like stopped doing 
the booktube and game stuff that she was doing because she wanted to focus on her K-pop thing, which is totally understandable, that's fine. But I kind of missed having her around. And now she's back, it's sort of like giving me a bit more inspiration to, a bit more motivation to do what I want, to do what I want. So uh, that's that. If you're not, for, for whatever reason, if you're not already subscribed to Sana, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Like I've been subscribed to her for a very long time, like almost since the beginning, I think. So yeah, you should go, sub I will link her, leave her channel linked down below. And if you're interested in K-pop, she also does K-pop content. I'll also link that channel down below as well. Next goal is, uh, not really something I okay so my next goal I I try and avoid I've tried I've avoided making these goals since I started I'm sorry like I'm a bit wheezy but I've been working out and like me getting hit up now is my chest is like Catherine what are you doing what are you doing to me why are we doing this right now so I'm gonna have to ask you to excuse the wheezing <laughs> because I will not take my inhaler until it's absolutely necessary <laughs> But my next goal, I've tried to, I've avoided making these goals because I, I don't know, I felt like maybe I shouldn't, maybe how, what, what right do I have to make these sort of goals? And that is, I would like to reach 100 subscribers by the end of the year, like that would be a really nice thing. Um, and now that I've started sort of like, Twitch has really helped me get this confidence a lot because I, I mean, I've started like putting out my Twitch streams on my Twitter um because I sort of stopped putting my YouTube videos out on Twitter because like like promoting myself because I just felt really bad but I'm now I'm like like I follow a lot of people now that are like no promote yourself treat this like a business get yourself out there so I'm gonna do that um and I'm also gonna try and increase my presence on the social media because I'm so bad at that right now I just haven't had the energy but I'm gonna try and I guess that sort of takes me on to another goal which is to do better at social media because I know they're like hell sites I know Twitter is an absolute hell site but it can also be great you know and I want to try and tailor what I see on Twitter and just you know try and make it a space for me to feel comfortable enough to just talk shit basically that's all I want to do I just want to talk shit on the internet that's all I want to do but every time I try I'm like Catherine nobody cares and I need to get past that and just do it because somebody might care and that somebody is who I want you know what I mean you know what I mean so <laughs> where am I going with this so yeah no goal is reach 100 subscribers by the end of the year I don't know if I can want to do it because it's taken me six six years just over six years to get 80 what am I on 85 85 I think I'm on 85 subscribers right it's taken me that long because I'm just I'm not consistent which is a thing that you know people recommend so I'm going to aim to fix that um I don't really promote myself which is another thing that I need to get over and just do you know <sighs> just gotta do it and onto that is a social media goal, which isn't really YouTube related, but you know, just sort of like slip that in there. And I think that should about covers it. That about covers it. You know, that about covers my goals for 2021 that I can think of. I have a reading goal. I've set my reading goal as 30, which I have done for the past uh, two years, three years. And I think since I've set it at 30, I have reached 30 and I haven't upped it. And I don't want to up it because it's a nice number. It's a number I can reach comfortably without stressing too much about it. So I have no worries about meeting that goal, but I don't like to not set a goal because I do want to keep reading. And if I don't have a goal, I'm worried that I might not, I just might not read anything, you know? So I kind of like to have a little bit of pressure, just that little bit of a push to go, Catherine, come on, read something. But I don't want too much because I don't want it to take over my life. So that is that. And I think that about does it. I realise this is coming up later than probably everybody else's 2021 goals because everyone has their sword by like end of December, their new year goals. And I'm just like, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing tomorrow, let alone what my plans are for the rest of the year. So I sort of needed January to sort of like, you know, just sort of like get settled in, 
you know, see how I'm feeling and whatnot. And uh, today I was like, you know what? I feel like filming. I actually have the energy to film. So why don't we sort out some, why don't we, last minute, why don't we sort out some goals? So that's that. So that's gonna be it from me today. Thank you so much for watching. Speaking of getting over promoting myself, I, I, I'm gonna start doing this at the end of videos now. I'm gonna try. So, <clears throat> thank you so much for watching. What was I saying? So that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed what you saw, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you aren't already. I have my social medias linked in the description below if you want to check those out to see how I'm doing. If you're interested in Twitch, gaming, whatnot, I do stream on Twitch three times a week. I will leave the link to my Twitch channel in the description below as well. <laughs> Let's see how long I keep this up. <laughs> I need to sort of work it into my ending thing. But apart from that, let me know what your goals are for 2021, if you have any. Don't be scared to be ambitious. I am very afraid of being too ambitious because disappointment is always like looming. It's always like, but what if? What if it doesn't happen? And you know what? If you don't try, it's not gonna happen anyway, is it? Is it? So you might as well try <laughs> a bit. Now, Catherine, <laughs> go to bed. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. But yeah, let me know your 2021 goals are in the description below. If you are not good at commenting, don't know what to say, just leave me an emoji, heart emoji. I don't know, stars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, leave me a heart emoji. Color of your choice in the description. In the description in the comments in the comments i hope you have a lovely day wherever you are and i will i will hopefully see you in another video bye